Hi lovely unstuck ladies. So today for the technique lesson we are going to be looking at our backgrounds again and using watercolors. Now I know in the poll that I put in the Facebook group I got a lot of questions about how to use watercolors and I am going to be doing some lessons focusing more on watercolors but today's one is going to be very basic. So what we're going to need is some wrap like um, glad wrap, wrap and so I've got a piece over here. And what you're going to do is just scrunch it a little bit like this. Right. And then we're going to be using our watercolors with that. So what you can do is even wet some of the watercolors before you start with this. It's going to be quite wet. And you can use colors that are, I want to say, that are not opposites on the color wheel. Like when you did the color wheel lesson, like yellow is here the opposite of that would be orange right so we don't want to use colors that are on the opposite because then they'll become very brown sometimes but colors that are rather close together um, on the color wheel i'm going to be putting that in between i did not pre-wet mine so i am just wetting them now as we go So you can decide which colors you'd like to use. I'm very much using, I want to say, cooler colors for this one for myself. I might go over to even a little bit of pink. All right, so once you've got a whole bunch of little colors in your um, wrap over here, we are going to go ahead and we are going to put that onto your paper. Okay, so you have to be quite careful with this, <laughs> putting it over, but let's see. We're going to scrunch it down like this. And once it's done, you can play with those little parts and Press them down and even if you see the quite watery parts, you can move them around a bit with your fingers to give them that shape and let them flow a little bit more. And some of them will even flow into one another, creating colors. So that's why it's good to not use opposites on the color wheel. So you don't get browns or unless you want to have those browns and maybe orange and yellows those type of i want to also say a bit more in the autumn or brown color for your background see as i'm squeezing it the paint is flowing underneath this There we go and it's created a very nice background for us for that whole you know image some of them is a little bit wet you can still if it's very wet either scrunch it up a little bit more there or even let it flow a little bit and it creates a very soft background so if you since we've been talking so much about backgrounds what to use in the background you could use something like this to create beautiful soft backgrounds with your watercolor paint 
means and then have your image or your quote or your statement your declaration your scripture that you want to put over with that in your image have that over this I want to just show you like with this that's a bit drier now it makes a completely different um, I want to say pattern and so you could either leave it like this if you really wanted to play with the, the effect of it you could either even take a pen and outline the outsides of it to create a different pattern or you could leave it soft like that so let me give you an example so let's say if i wanted to have the lines i could oh, this is a bit wet it, you would it would work better once it's dried you know if i follow some of these little patterns in that and create lines in that um, even a, a water soluble pencil could work well if you wanted to outline some of the patterns that you've got otherwise just using the soft beautiful textures that you've got there giving it that effect of the, the lines in between so you could have either or and you could play with the colors and they do make really really pretty backgrounds and um, once they've dried you could always even instead of just lining them with this you could draw pictures onto them like with a black pen like flowers or butterflies or some image that you want to create over the silhouettes of people um, draw that over that and then you just have the colors coming through from the background 